Hey, welcome back to the channel. So, um, I pulled a typical Terry Folds and I, uh, when I started to record, my recording software defaulted back to the uh, previous resolution, my um, 1440p resolution of my screen instead of the 1080p resolution of my game, and I lost some more footage. So, uh, anyway, I've already gotten a couple of the blueprints. Um, all you missed is me being a doofus and uh, not even realizing the harbor was there. It took me a minute to find it and I was like, how did I miss this? So anyway, um, I already got the first blueprint for the teapot and I need a little bit of metal. So I am running my old ember mine for a second here just to get a little bit of metal. And um, once that's done, I... Uh, We'll continue on the blueprints, so if you don't know what to do with the Cloudium, or if you uh, are a little bit confused by the blueprints, like I definitely was, you, I guess you missed a few comic moments of me trying to do totally the wrong thing with the blueprints. I didn't really understand what the, the numbers and things meant. And uh, to be honest, I, I still completely don't. I think I figured it out. Um, I ended up using uh, three gold bars for a... Um, uh, candlestick. So, uh, and I'm not sure if I needed three or not. I think I did. It said three on it, but I don't know if that was grams, but it used all three. So, uh, we shall see. But yeah, look at that. Pumping it out. Bucket and shovel works pretty good. Oh, I need to repair that. Yeah, that my phone. <laughs> Alright, that's repaired. Look at this. The conveyors are still eating little dirt chunks here. Like, I don't know if that's, if maybe, maybe I need to, like, buy new conveyors since the patch or something. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'll go report the bug in a little bit over on the, the Discord. Or look, it, look it up anyway, see what other people have said. Um, so, but, I mean, I've, I've changed the, uh, I picked them up and set them back down, the vertical conveyors, and that doesn't seem to do anything real, but maybe if I bought brand new ones. I don't know. I'm just speculating. Just wanting my conveyors to stop eating my dirt, because that wasn't happening before. Although I did see it happening to uh, some people on the uh, pre-release version. Oh yeah, look at it. Look at that. Up there, too. This is ridiculous. Like, why... Come on. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Some of those made it all the way across the field. Maybe all the way across the map. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and here they're doing it too. This is ridiculous. Like, why are they doing this? Just work. And in the metal. How about the, or the, that was the gems, I mean, this is the metal. Not, not the metal, not the gems. Alright, so yeah, there's the blueprints I already got. So, um, now I need to make some, uh, teapots. And then I can get the next, uh, the next set of, um, blueprints. For the first blueprint, you need a, um, yeah, to get the teapot, you need a sword. And so you bring mm -hmm. the sword down to the docks. You'll see where the docks are in a second. So, um, I'm trying to figure out how this weight and stuff works. See how it says it wants three? So, let's make, I don't want to use too much metal. So that's why I'm, actually, let me, let me use even less. I, I have no idea how this works. Um, I don't know if I could use just like a, a, a tiny bit. I don't know, like, like can I use three little bars? See how it says th uh, three on the on the blueprint? Let me get these warmed up. Okay, so yeah, see how it has a three on the blueprint? I don't know if that's three bars or what. It used three bars for the um, for the candlestick I had to make to get. Uh... So you bring in a sword, and it gives you the blueprint for a candlestick. You make two candlesticks and you can get the blueprint for the teapot and the blueprint for, um, forget what the other thing is. Uh, what? What? It only used one. It only used one brick. Oops. Huh? Oops. <laughs> okay, so what's the three mean then? Huh? Oh boy. Here, I've, I've done it good. Huh? Uh, Done it to myself good here. Uh, uh, and this is a glitch too. Like what when you press E, sometimes it like brings it right up to your face. It's like what the heck is that all about? So there's a few new glitches that were introduced in the patch. I'm sure he'll get them sorted out soon. But um 
But yeah, the only one that really bothers me is the, the conveyor belt glitch. Um, that was more my own fault. So it only used one bar. So do we only need one bar? Okay, so what's the three mean then? Is that three grams? Did I just use like way too much metal? Uh, I don't know. I don't care. I, might, I mean, I'm not hurting for cash. That doesn't bother me at all if I did, but I just want to see like what you actually need. The, the instructions on these blueprints are a little confusing. Um, it took me a while to figure out. See, I, my one of the mistakes you missed me make was I thought that all of the blueprints required cloudium. So I was trying to make the candlestick with cloudium, <laughs> and no, it needed gold. Just like these uh, teapots needed metal, not cloudium. So no, you don't use every, uh, every recipe doesn't need cloudium. Just some of the recipes use cloudium. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so here's the harbor. You just turn left right here. There's the harbor. So you come down here. <laughs> nice little statue here. I swear this was here before and I just never found it. I, I, if it was, like, yeah, let me know in the comments, because, like, like, that's kind of, like, I don't know. I'm super oblivious, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay. 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 Dude, they did not think this through. I, I, maybe I made, like, one that's way too big. See, teapot, yeah. Here's all the blueprints. Here's your body. You just pull them off the wall. Where are these numbers by them? Teapot 12. That says 0.5 on it. Okay. Swap teapot with weight 12. Okay. It only has to have weight 12. Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> it says it didn't fit in the bucket. I was thinking maybe I could just put it on the table, but... Yeah, so, yeah, this is how it works, though. You put the, um... You put your item in that bucket there, and then you put the, the blueprint on the table, and then luckily it, it like worked real quick for me there. So yeah, here's the tree. One teapot will buy a shield, and it'll buy this elbow here. So let me put the elbow back in the truck. See this one does use cloudium. You can tell by the color of the bar on there. I think 0.5 is, must be the weight, so it only requires 0.5 grams of cloudium to make that elbow, I think is what it's saying. So let's get the, the shield one, and then we need to make two shields. Nice. Got it. So now we need to make two shields to get the next step. So yeah, you come in, like I said, you come in with one sword, and then you can get the, uh, the candelabra. You make two of the candelabras, you, yeah, you can get the next two um, blueprints. And then you gotta make the two teapots to get the next two blueprints. And then you gotta make two shields to get the next two blueprints. So I'm just gonna get the whole tree here. So sorry for missing out on the first. Like I said, that was my screw up with the, the recording software. I should probably just set the game to uh, my native screen resolution, but um, I don't know, like, maybe I need a new video card or something. Like, my 1070 doesn't seem to quite be keeping up with uh, recording and uh, playing at 1440p. Uh, it does it fine at 1080. Maybe I shouldn't have got the Founder's Edition. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, there's the candelabra. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's the teapot. this out of the way a little bit, clean it up here so I can actually huh? move around in here without stepping on stuff. Um, yeah, unfortunately these only hold three things now. They don't hold four things, so I'm just leaving my tools on the ground. Pretty sure they used to hold four tools. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. I got my memories wrong. <laughs> Alright, so let's make a shield. So it says three. So I guess it only needs three grams. This looks this is the color of cloudium, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these look yeah, these are both cloudium. So see how the color of the bar is the color of cloudium on the on the blueprint, and on that one it's metal, on that one it's gold. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I'm, I'm not getting sick, I'm just, um, yeah. I was, yeah, <laughs> partying last night. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, I get some cloudium here in this bar, it weighs eight grams. So that's all, that's more than six, so let's cut it in half, and then we should get to full shield, right? Because it only needs three. And of course, I put the crucible right where I need to put the bars. That was great planning ahead. Okay. So. Actually, I wasn't really out partying. I was um, with uh, one of my friends from high school who I haven't seen for years. So um, we were like sitting and chatting. I wasn't like. I wasn't like with a huge group of people or anything. So, uh, so yeah, still not. not uh, COVID. Just uh, <laughs> a little bit of California living. <laughs> know what I mean. Alright. There we go. So now we got two shields. So let's go get the next set. Just wouldn't pick it up for a second. Um, yeah, like, some of these things are a little bit difficult to pick up. I noticed that with the candelabra. I kept, like, my, uh, crosshair was like in between the arms of the candelabra and I kept hitting it and it wasn't picking it up so <laughs> all right so back to the harbor for the next set and then uh, we'll see what that means See if this stays in the bucket. Well, that was like way easier. All right, so we can get a bird cage. Let's get the bird cage. Let's get the get the put get the put. Uh, 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 uh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? <laughs> Said shield with weight 16. Yeah. Well, let's see what the other one needs. So let's see, see, swap shield of weight 16, and I made two that were like the bare minimum weight of like uh, four. See, so yeah, it's 4.33 and it needs to be 16. Okay, so, um, what's the other one? Need? The other one needs. Huh? This is a spanner. The other one needs 14. So I need it. A shield of 14 and a shield of 16. Okay. So those are two useless shields of four. All right, uh, like I said, I'm still figuring this thing out. The the uh, little descriptions are a little bit confusing. So, okay. So I guess the number on the blueprint is the minimum amount you need to make the object, but you need to look at the number next to the uh, blueprint or the that's on the table when you put it on the table to see how much uh, it actually costs. Now, I don't think I have enough um, Claudium at Ember to um, to do that, but is if you saw my last video, you know I have a whole ton of uh, I have a whole ton of um, uh, Claudium here at the Goliath David and Goliath mine from my last video where yeah I made like over half a million gold. So this bar weighs this bar weighs 89. So yeah, that's more than enough for both shields. Plus, I think I have some more over here, don't I? Yeah. Oh yeah, and I, I it didn't get the um, the video of when I when I uh, put the metal bar from here on the scale. Holy crap! Like that was worth a quarter million by itself. The gold was worth half a million, but the metal was worth a quarter million. So I made like three quarters of a million in the last video, and I didn't even realize it. And I picked up the thing too soon. You pick up the. Oh, that was dirt. Never mind. I thought it was Cloudium. <laughs> um, and how? Oh, God, can't carry two things at once. Being indecisive. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take the bar for now, and if I need more, I can come back for that that pot of Cloudium. 
There's more in the pot than there is in the bar, I'm like 90% sure. Pre like, I'm pretty sure I barely put anything into this bar, but yeah. It's enough for the shields, might not be enough for the rest. If I need more, I'll come back for the, the crucible of it. Alright, so let's go make two shields of, uh, what is it, 14 and 16. No, that's not the right way. This way, yeah. And if I go left, there's Amber. Uh, 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 uh. Professional driver here. <laughs> I just wanted to go four wheel in a bit. cut all this stuff out, but um, <laughs> uh, then I'd have like a 30 second video, I think. It would just be me uh, trading items for blueprints, and I don't think that really helps anybody. You can see my mistakes this way. See what I did wrong, like with the wrong weight shield. Okay, that's 22. And it needs... It needs 14 and 16. Okay, let's do a 22. And waste a little bit. Let's see what these other bars weigh. That one's 8. That doesn't really help. 22 and 8's 30. If I cut that in half, that's bad because then one's, one's too big and one's too little. <laughs> um, cut this in half. That's 11 now. Right. Then if I grab the 8... Really, no different than huh? having the 22. It's only a few grams different. That one's 18. Huh? What? 40? Oh, that one's 44. That one's 17. So that one's good. That one'll be perfect for the the uh, 16. And what should we do for the 14? 11, 8. want to be smelting bars together. Man, this shield's way bigger than the last one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Alright. So, I think maybe if I smelt the 11... So that's the eight. Eight point six. And if I put eight point six with the eleven, it's nineteen. It's almost no different than the twenty-two. Plus, I have to smelt two bars together. So let's just use the twenty-two. Screw it. It's not that big of a weight. It's just a few grams. No big deal. Get our second shield. There, there it is. Yeah, get our second shield, and then either one will work for either one. They're both above 16, so that's fine. Wonder, kind of makes me wonder how big I can make these shields, though. <laughs> can I make one as big as the truck? <laughs> Maybe that'll be the next video biggest shield, the biggest of each object. We'll see how big each object can get. <laughs> I think that'll be a fun little short video. Maybe I should make like, oh, maybe my new goal is a million dollar item of each item, or a million hydro coin item of each item. Because I have a million hydro coins, I have a million gold bar, now I need to make like, a uh, chandelier worth a million and a bro uh, uh, bird cage worth a million, right? <laughs> Wouldn't be that hard to be honest. Really, only take a cut like a day or two a piece, and that's when I'm working. All right, swap shield with weight 16. There we go. So now I've got my bird cage. Let's put that over here. Actually, let's uh, put that in the truck and grab the other shield. <clears throat> Excuse me again. <laughs> Yeah, I also just got up. I'm all kind of 
phlegmy in the mornings. Might be why. If I sound a little different, that, that'd be why, too. <laughs> Probably uh, sounding more and more normal as I wake up. I just wanted to get this video out. I, uh... I did the, um... The first part that I missed the recording of last night. And, and then... Oh, that's his cage. It's the wrong one. Um... But yeah, I did the first part of the recording last night, and then I went to bed. And so, as soon as I got up, I started doing this. So yeah, if I sound a little groggy, that's why. <laughs> <coughs> Jeez, yeah. I fly me in this. Fly me in the mornings. Alright. So, uh, let's see how much it is, how, the weights I need for the, uh, the bird cages to be, to get the next items. So, that one needs to be birdcage 14, and this one, what is it, goes to this hammer, or this uh, axe I mean here, this axe needs 20, so I need a 20 and a 14, okay, birdcage of 20, birdcage of 14. This needs Cloudium also. Yep, that's the color of Cloudium. So I need at least, uh, what is it, 34 grams of Cloudium. So let's see, this one should be, that one's the 8. Right? Yeah, that's pretty sure I saw 8. This one huh? is 11. So those two together could easily be the 14. And the other one needs to be 20. That's 11. There's a 44, so if I chop the 44 in half, I'll have the, um, 22. I thought I had another 22 here, didn't I have... Oh, no, because, yeah, I made one into the shield and then the other, the two 11s. Okay, so I'll chop this in half, there's a 22. And let's, uh, make sure real quick, and then we'll warm it up. Yep, okay, warm it up, and then that can be the birdcage worth 20. I'm surprised the bird cages aren't made of gold like the candelabra, but um, huh? I, don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe in this universe, pipes and bird cages are like special, especially strong to keep things in. <laughs> All right, so let's smelt the two together that make. Um, huh? Huh? Well, I guess it'd be like 19. Yeah, 11 and 8, and that can be good for the 14 one. This is how I get the bars into the, the crucible. Works pretty good. Alright. So, birdcage number one. <laughs> looks like it's made... Oh, jeez. Huh? Birdcage looks like it's made out of gold and, and metal, but it's made out of cloudium. <laughs> I wonder, yeah, I wonder how big of... Um, ooh. Making the stuff out of cloudium worth a million will be a bit difficult. I, mean, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Huh. Yeah. Well, hmm. Because <laughs> cloudium's not worth that much. I didn't think about that. But the candelabra and the um, teapot, I can make one of those worth a million. I wonder how big the teapot will be. <laughs> and then, um... Yeah, I don't know about mining a million, uh, a million Cloudium, like, not, not for each item. Maybe a million total. Maybe I'll make that my goal. I'll get a million Cloudium, uh, for my next goal in Hydranir. Yeah, Cloudium is, a, like, a 1% drop rate compared to, uh, everything else or in the dirt, whatever you want to call it. So it's very rare. Much more rare than, than even the, huh? the gems and the power gems. All right, here's my huh? second bird cage. Now let's go get the next tier of stuff. Okay, we're back at the, the harbor, at the ship. And this is the cage that weighs... This is the cage that weighs... Nothing, apparently. Uh, what? Yeah, it's not in there. Looks like it's in there, but 
This is the, okay, 22. This is the cage that weighs 22, so yeah, let's get that. The axe for 20. Let's go grab the other bird cage. And what do we, not the money. Not, not the bucket. <laughs> okay, the bird cage is even worse than the candelabra because it's got like so many gaps in it. <laughs> the hole. No. In the hole. Good job. Okay, for this we can get a... yeah, spanner. A wrench. We can make our own wrenches now, boys! Woo! And girls. <laughs> so this, the blunderbuss, need 28. So I need 12 and 28 for a straight pipe and a blunderbuss. And we're back at Ember again. And, <clears throat> yeah. and now we need to uh, make uh, two of the uh, axes here. So huh? one for 28 and one for... Was it 14? Something like that. So... I can make one of them. If I melt these two together, I can make the 28 with it. And then I guess while that melts, I think I'll go back over to my Goliath mine and get, um... the other, uh... the other bunch of cloudy. So... Head back over to the Goliath Mine. Eventually, I want to get all the blueprints set up down inside Ember in the buildings, but with all this back and forth right now, I just figured that was the smartest spot, the top of Ember, because I'm um, going back and forth to the harbor, back and forth to the harbor. I mean, I guess I could have kind of brought all the stuff to the harbor, right? <laughs> Nah, I don't even know if it'll let you build things, like set, place things at the harbor. I don't think it does. I think it has to be on your own property. I mean, you can drop it, but if the uh, brazier's not, or if the furnace isn't placed, it doesn't heat, so. Alright, back into the Goliath mine. Oh, it's much nicer, much less laggy than when I was here last night. Or not like last night, last video. That was like actually a couple days ago. Been meaning to put out videos a little faster, but man, life is just not wanting me to. I mean, I wasn't gonna tell my friend that I hadn't seen in years to go away, and not like I wanted to anyway. But um, and then I was working a, over. It was actually over 12 hours I was working, if you include the time driving to and from work the other day. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if I've said before, but I normally work at the animal shelter and uh, the county animal shelter, and I was um, reassigned to, uh, sorry, I'm not, at, I'm not at the mouse right now, I'm just talking. Um, I was reassigned to uh, the DOC, the Disaster Operations Center, and so I'm on call with them and I get like really weird hours. All right, back on the screen. Hello. I was on the other screen there for a second, that's why I wasn't moving. Sorry about that. Alright, so, we got all this Cloudium. Let's head back and, uh, split off a bit for, um, saw off a bit for, uh, the other... I hate those lag spikes like that. Um, for the other blueprint. And the end goal of all this is kind of to be able to make our own, uh, bag, our own, uh, tool bags. I mean, all the other stuff's nice, that's cool. Uh, and I'm definitely going to be uh, making it and placing it around my, my buildings and things. And uh, selling it when I feel like, of course. But um, I really want to be able to make my own tool bags. Because, uh, especially at the Goliath Mine, that'll be pretty useful. <laughs> Okay, back at Ember. So let's see how much uh, Cloudium is in this bar. So, gotta take that, oh yeah, that in there. So this huh? one should be, what, 30? 
Yep, 33. Go away, fly. Shoo, fly! Okay, this, let's see how much this one weighs. Huh? I need to move my scale. Oh yeah, 310. Plenty. But yeah, the value of it still is only 12,431. So yeah, like I said, if something worth a million cloudium, that means you've mined a ridiculous amount. Um, I think I'm gonna try though. <laughs> Probably at my Goliath mines because I can pretty much AFK mine there now that I have the David. Um, or honestly, I wonder if I could I wonder if I had the Goliath mine running and I came here to Ember and started shoveling if it would still um, render in all the all the stuff from the Goliath mine, or if it would just um, like not render it in, so it's like you know pause it in time. It'd be interesting to find out. Okay, so that's still worth uh, 38 grams or weighs 38 grams. So that's half of this. Huh? Is yeah, more than 14. Okay. So we've got our twenty, our one that's more than twenty-eight and our uh, more than fourteen here. And then um, I believe all that's left is the blunderbuss. And then we make one blunderbuss and we get the uh, the tool bag. Pretty sure is how it works. All right, back to the harbor. Here we go again. Starting to feel a little repetitive, but probably because they don't expect you. Glad to fly away completely. Huh? Probably because they don't expect huh? you to have ridiculous amounts of cloudium at hand instantly. Um, you know, because I already had a huge mine going. So, but if you started during 1.3, this would actually be a tree instead of for me. It's just uh, buying stuff with what I already have, <laughs> which I don't mind at all. Oh, that was just 12. I was looking. I must have been looking at the wrong. Remembering the wrong number. Go away, fly. There's one right in my face. Yeah, if, you, if I ever like jerk around on the screen with the mouse, it's probably because I'm swatting at flies. It's been really hot here, and there's a lot of flies lately. I live out in like kind of a rural area, which is why I have bad internet. Which is why I don't stream. Can't stream. Literally not good enough internet to stream. Um. So I make these videos instead, and then it takes me all night to upload them. <laughs> all right, get in the bucket. They did not, they did not think this through. <laughs> these objects do not fit. I'm trying to hit the button before it falls out. These objects do not fit. There we go. Yeah. Maybe I should be holding E. So 30 needs 30 for that one. All right. How much does the, um, I didn't look and see how, what weight the, uh, tool bag needs. Hopefully it's not too much. And there's another lag spike. Yeah, hopefully it's not too much. Because, um, yeah, that would kind of suck if it's like, oh, a thousand grams of cloudium per bag of, uh, of, uh, spanners. Or bag of wrenches. That wouldn't be worth it. I don't think it is, though. Look at all these are really low numbers. 0 0.5, 4, 0.5, 3. Yeah, I don't think it'll be very high. 6 is the highest there. Alright, let's make a blunderbuss. I wonder if it shoots. Over here, axe. Alright, needs to be worth your way 30. That's 19. So we're gonna hack it. Buddy hack it. Huh? This one is 38. That's more than 30. Alright, close enough. Huh? And set the I don't know if this has to be on that little plate that looks like the blueprint or not, but I'm just gonna put it there. There's my screwdriver. And there's my blender bus. Alright, let's go get the final blueprint recipe. And the 
final trade. And no, it doesn't shoot. I tried. <laughs> Let's get the... I almost said bag of hammers. Dumber than a bag of hammers. A bag of spanners. There we go. And now we have all the blueprints. Woo! Party! Woo! Get up and dance. <laughs> if I did that, I wouldn't be able to play. Alright, so I think... Um, I think the only responsible thing here to do would be to make a couple bags of, or make a couple tool bags. So, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna do that now. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's got, it's the, it's the completion of the arc. You get the final blueprint, you gotta make the final blueprint. I can't just end the video here with like, oh, I got the final blueprint, and then like, oh, it turns out it doesn't work. <laughs> um. Do I want, I need um, a bookshelf. Yeah, let's get a bookshelf. Because I don't want to just have all my, my blueprints just laying on the ground all the time. So I want a bookshelf, and then same with the tools, I need another tool rack. And um, they don't sell the bookshelf. Shaft. Book shaft? Bookshelf in here, do they? No, they don't, they sell it the other one. So get the tool rack. I can't talk sometimes, I swear. <laughs> Blame it on the morning. Oh yeah, I already uh, was going to buy it and I didn't have enough money. <laughs> now I'm going to get that saved too. That'll be useful for all the, the bars that are on the ground. I meant to get the safe for somewhere else. I don't remember now. Oh, for um, the Goliath mine. But, um, let's get another one for the Goliath mine. It's nice being rich. <laughs> A million Hydra coins worth of plug. Oh no, man. I said it, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it. We'll, we will see. We will definitely see. <laughs> okay, so, uh, let's get the, the blueprints organized here. Um, I think I actually want this where they are. So let's move them all out of the way. They stack pretty nice. I mean, they don't take up a whole ton of space. Look at that. Yeah, you can just stack them pretty good. So let's put the uh, bookshelf over here. Um, okay, that's not how I thought they were going to stack. We're not going to have enough room for all of them, are we? I'm going to need two bookshelves. For one set of blueprints? Yep, doesn't fit. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna question it. Whatever. <laughs> doesn't. Not my. Not exactly what I would would have done, but leave it so there's three extra. I mean, I would have done like two bookshelves or one, but okay, no, I'm not complaining. Okay, only 18, that's not bad. So yeah, dude, an 18 metal for a bag of spanners. Hell yeah, dude, I'm gonna be cranking these out all day. Let's just make uh, two of them here real quick. And uh, I think that'll be the end of this video. Then I'll start uh, mining more and uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do on the next one. Uh, whether that's going to be the million Claudium or what. Yep, yeah, there we go. Bag, bag of hammers. Bag of spanners. <laughs> Dumber than a bag of hammers. <laughs> All right. Well. That was fun. Sorry for missing out on the first part, but I think you got the idea at this point of how it works. You saw most of my mistakes. You only need one bar, and you need the weight that it tells you you need um, on the board, not on, on the blueprint. So uh, I'm going to stick all the stuff in here and um, begin my next adventure. Thanks for watching. <laughs>